in our quest to continue trying to control our home as much as we can with our Amazon Echo and Alexa I'm gonna talk now about uh, the Harmony Hub mm, it's funny how um, in my case it was by coincidence when the Harmony Hub came out I just uh, found it to be very uh, useful so that's why I bought it and then the Amazon Echo came and uh, all these possibilities to link the devices and make uh, your homework together um, was uh, very nice to find out and it has taken some time it, uh, it was not until uh, first IFT uh, had uh, little uh, recipes to have uh, Alexa control the Harmony Hub and uh, just uh, recently the Smart Things Smart Hub um, also made it possible to link Alexa to the Harmony Hub so this um, device is very uh, uh, useful I like it a lot it's uh, very necessary in uh, the home automation um, environment in our house and um, I'm gonna talk a little bit about it the Harmony Hub um, it comes in two versions um, the one not so expensive which is around a hundred and fifty dollars and um, the only difference with uh, the elite version is that um, the first one only lets you command um, a maximum of eight devices the elite one lets you a maximum of 15 devices and it comes with uh, a remote control which I never use but it's good to have as a backup and uh, well, it comes with it, so uh, you might as well just have it as a spare. Um, the Harmony Hub uh, lets you control devices via infrared, via Bluetooth, or via Wi-Fi. So it's very versatile, and uh, um, it also allows you to control a wide variety of uh, devices, which is uh, very, very nice. Um, I use it to control my uh, sound system, my TVs, and uh, uh, you can even control your heel lights, you can control uh, your Nest thermostat. Um, it has a very, very uh, long list of devices that can be used, and also um, uh, it's very easy to set them up. You just have to uh, enter the model and uh, the brand of the device and they have a very large database of uh, devices I was very pleased to see how easy it was that almost every device that I have entered it has found it and it's possible to use it with it. The way the Harmony Hub uh, works is um, you have to um, use its uh, companion app which is uh, the Harmony app right here so once you set it up um, it's um, you have uh, two different things that you can uh, do you have your activities and you have your devices I'm gonna talk about first the devices and this is very important for later when uh, you want to control your devices with Alexa it's very important to create um, your activities because the smart hub when it links to your harmony hub it will look for your activities and it will treat them as devices and um, in that way when you link your smart hub to your Amazon Echo it will see your devices your virtual devices um, set up in your smart things hub which are uh, um, your activities from the Harmony Hub and that's the way Alexa controls them um, so it's going to be very important to think about um, the tasks that you will want to uh, have Alexa done so that you can uh, think in advance and uh, create your activities here on the um, uh, Harmony Hub app so here first um, you have your uh, device list and this is where you enter all your different uh, things that you have uh, in your house like I said you have a maximum of 15 devices um, I have already entered um, 
uh, my uh, Nest thermostat. I have entered uh, my hue lights. Uh, it's uh, very nice also that uh, uh, for the hue lights it uh, it allows you to have all your lights and also your scenes. So you can control everything from the same app. Um, I have a couple of TVs. Uh, actually, three TVs. I have my. Uh, uh, Bose living uh, living room sound system. I have set my PlayStation, which is Bluetooth. Uh, it's very nice that it controls it. And uh, well, with Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, uh, the devices don't have to be on site in sight to for, for in order for the Harmony Hub to operate them, which is very good. And then you have um, when you have uh, your uh, Nest devices, it uh, lists them here as sensors, which I have set up as my uh, Nest Protect, and um, and uh, my uh, Nest thermostat. So they are uh, listed right here. For some reason, my camera is not focusing properly. I'm sorry about that, but. Um, I have to fix it but um, yeah that's what you can see right here so once you have set your uh, devices you go to your activities and then here you program the different activities that you want to have I have um, uh, set up uh, the, the activities that I will later want to control with Alexa and the first one is called computer on man cave which turns on my TV sets it up to my uh, input which is uh, where my computer is connected so when I uh, run that activity through Alexa um, my TV turns on and uh, it goes directly to my computer uh, and uh, that's how um, I start my TV um, movie on a living room it's just a more elaborated uh, routine that I have it sets up uh, uh, the colors uh, on my room to uh, uh, a low blue and it sets up my uh, DVD player TV everything so that um, you can start watching a movie and uh, I have uh, set that up as well um, I have uh, two uh, activities that start by themselves uh, once in the morning when I wake up uh, my TV starts up um, along uh, with uh, my lights I have another one um, uh, when uh, sunset arrives uh, it turns on my TVs so when I get back from work uh, TVs come on by themselves I have uh, an activity called second TV which will turn on um, my second TV when uh, I ask Alexa to do it so I had to create an activity for that um, and then I have another one that is called uh, video uh, on which uh, turns on I have two activities to turn my TVs individually or this one which turns all of them at once so I have that set up so that I have also control with Alexa later and I had an activity for the blu-ray which turns on my PlayStation and sets um, uh, the input on my sound system to uh, video uh, for uh, uh, watching the blu-ray so it's very important that you set up your activities here because um, as I say later on your smart hub will require them uh, so that it uh, sees them as virtual devices and um, once you have them uh, set up on your smart hub when you link it to uh, your Alexa app um, it will be able to uh, consider them as devices to turn on and turn off uh, individually um, I, uh, um, I was gonna say that uh, these uh, activities uh, it, the one important thing to consider is that um, if you uh, set up your activities uh, on your Harmony uh, app and then set your smart hubs and then you link it to Alexa it's a little bit of a pain in the neck that if you think of a new activity that you want uh, to uh, use Alexa with you're gonna have to delete uh, your uh, devices that you create on the smart hubs you're gonna have to uh, 
on link um, your um, uh, uh, smart hub uh, from smart things from Alexa you'll have to create your activity on the Harmony app and then uh, do the whole process again of adding it uh, linking it to the smart hub um, device and then link it again to Alexa so it's a lengthy process if you uh, think of activities afterwards once you have linked them all to uh, work with Alexa it's the only kind of pen in the neck but uh, other than that, it works like really great and um, it's a really nice element to have um, in uh, our home that is controlled by uh, Alexa and our Amazon Echo.